A Schenectady family is very proud tonight. Their relative, Tony Luca, made it to the final four of NBC singing competition, The Voice. And they should be proud. Tonight mm. was the live finale seen right here on News Channel 13 just a few minutes ago, and here's how it ended. Here we go. The finalist in third place is... Tony Luca. As you just heard, Luca finishing third. Jermaine Paul was eventually crowned the winner tonight. But tonight was about celebration for Luca's family who gathered at the Van Dyke in Schenectady for a viewing party. News Channel 13's Dan Bazil was there as well. He joins us live with a few special <laughs> guests. Good evening, Dan. Jim, Jessica, good evening to you guys. Yes, indeed, a lot of excitement here. They've been Dyke in Schenectady. I tell you, the excitement will not end there. The family says, no matter what happened tonight, whether or not he came in third, they consider him a winner in their eyes. And of course, all those four people uh, in that competition, something good will happen to them. At least that's what the family believes as well. Now, the family's been here for about three hours, concentrating every second of this show. I have them here. As you know, uh, uh, Tony Luca's dad is from Rotterdam, and his family, uh, we have his aunt, we have his cousin first, Casey, cousin Nicole, we have Dan, his uh, uncle, and we have his aunt, uh, Linda. Uh, guys, you know, I, I watch you you guys uh, and, as as um, a, as the announcement was made and and it seems like there was a lot of tension there talk about that a little bit yeah it was definitely really intense we, I mean there's something we put he's put so much time into into his career and we just wanted it for him you know mm -hmm. and uh, I think you know we could kind of feel that that vibe here so mm -hmm. it was definitely intense and uh, it's still kind of a little, little shaky from it. But, yeah, it, uh, it's still exciting. And Nicole, did you, did you think he was ever going to get this far? I mean, he, re he got to the top four. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Um, I think we all thought that he would make it far. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he has been, you know, a musician for the majority of his life, and you know, we're all used to seeing him sing and play his guitar and play the piano, and we had no doubt that he would go very far in the competition. Yeah, Uncle uh, Dan and, and Aunt Linda, you guys watched him grow up. What was it like watching him on national television singing and, and doing his thing? I mean, how was, what was that like for you guys? I, I, it was just extremely exciting. I mean, he's, music has been his life. Um, I think we're, we're all proud of his accomplishments. I think uh, the most important thing that I, I have taken, uh, I think of my wife as well, is uh, uh, from this experience is uh, not only are we proud of him as a as a singer and entertainer, but uh, as a person, uh, he's a genuine uh, genuine ticket. He's he's a, a heck of a young man. Mm -hmm. And and you guys are very proud, of course, and and a little disappointed, right, that he didn't win, but not quite. Not quite. Um, we feel that just getting into the top four is gonna just send him on into the wherever he wants to go with his career. Mm -hmm. um, He's gotten so much exposure from the show that um, we're not disappointed in him at all. He's handled himself very well throughout this entire uh, time that he's been on the show. A lot of criticism coming his way, and he's just ki kind of just been there and standing proud and tall and, and not letting it get to him. So we're just we're thrilled for him. Wherever he lands, um, we're, he knows we're behind him. We'll oh. support him all the way. All right, Linda, Dan, Nicole, and Casey, thank you guys so much. And uh, of course, you very proud family. <laughs> and, uh, and you Jim, you can hear this. There's a lot of excitement here. Lots of family members here. They're going to continue to party, I suppose, because they feel that he's a winner in their eyes. Jim will send it back to you in the studio. He certainly has a lot of love in that room. Dan Bazil tonight. Thanks, Dan.